Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 18th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out a few text properties. So I've got a file which has uh, four lines of text and these are lyrics from very popular Pink Floyd songs. So get a good job with more pay and you're okay. This is from Money. Shine On You Crazy Diamond is of course from Shine On You Crazy Diamond and Us and Them and after all we're just ordinary men. This is from Us and Them. Uh, you know the song from Dark Side of the Moon and we don't need no education this is from another brick in the wall uh, from the wall right so I haven't used uh, a separate style section for this document I've got four inline style rules and I've just mentioned the names of the properties I haven't given any values and that is because I wanted to show you how this file looks in raw form so when you see it in the browser the way it is right now it would look like this you know four lines of text no formatting applied really plain really simple now one by one we are going to put some values for these properties and we're going to see the changes that occur in the web page when we refresh the page in the browser so the first thing let's say you want to change the color of your text to some other color not black so if you want to change it to green for instance you have to use the color property give a colon and type in the value green and of course the semicolon has to be present I'll save the file when I refresh it in my browser I see that the color has changed to green you know just to make it more obvious I'm going to change it to something like yellow you know something like yellow would jump up in your face and you know it would just be really obvious so that's what it is you cannot read the text maybe but the color has changed you can make that much out uh, the next property that we're going to check out is the direction property so let's say you want to show your text not from the left of your screen but from the right of your screen which means that you want you know the text to uh, be displayed on this side on the right side of the screen and you could change the value for the direction property to RTL right this is right to left short form for that I believe and when I save the file and refresh it in the browser I see that shine on you crazy diamond has shifted right towards the right of the screen right uh, the next property that we're going to check out is the letter spacing property and I think we have checked it out once in the course but I didn't elaborate on it so it deserves another mention. Let's say you want more space between the alphabets that make your sentence. So you want extra space between U and S of us, you want extra space between A and N and N and D and T and H and you know between all the alphabets, all the characters in fact in your sentence. So you could you know use the letter spacing property for it. I'll give it a small value like 5 pixels which is also big enough if you ask me. And if I refresh the page I see that there is extra space indeed between all the alphabets right. Uh, you might not use it much but you know I just wanted to mention it to you uh, sometimes if you're using a really small font size then it does help to have some letter spacing it increases the readability a bit at least the next property that we're going to check out is the word spacing property and if you would use the letter spacing property five times out of ten the word spacing property would be used maybe like once right so it's really uncommon but still it exists so that's why I thought that I should show it to you so I'll put a value of uh, you know 20 pixels or 10 pixels maybe uh, save the file and when I refresh it in the browser I see that the space has increased you know not much but it has increased a bit so you know that's it for this tutorial I'm going to see you in the next video in which we'll talk about uh, some more text properties perhaps uh, you know there are a few more which uh, I have to mention and I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thanks for watching this one and take care